I have two Totoro sweaters. Oh my god, Totoro sweaters. Totoro sweaters. I, I got like a friend. I got like a friend who's like a major nut on Totoro, so well like more Miyazaki, but like still. She would eat that up. <laughs> eat that up. I was up, watching like... your old videos earlier. Oh, God. <laughs> he was... How old? Like when you had that TV, when you didn't have that se when you didn't have that setup. Oh my God! Oh, yeah. those I... ones. Oh, jeez. And I, <laughs> I saw the one with the Muppets when you were like freaking out in the beginning. <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember those days. <laughs> How old are you? You're like 19, 20, 19? Um, actually no, it was 2011, yeah, it was not, I was, yeah, I, I just turned 19 during that time, oh my Jesus. god. Your time here. I guess I was tiny. I'm... I guess I grew a bit since. Oh, he grew hairier, that's for sure. Eh, well, that depends. Where? Trust me, the hair came out like at a young age. Oh, yeah, but yeah. where though? <laughs> the question should be more: Where am I not hairy? <laughs> yes, it's close. Sometimes I go back to that photo of you, and I'm just like, should I be okay with this? You're the one who wanted to find that photo, okay? <laughs> Curiosity killed the bunny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Curiosity oh. killed the affection of a bunny. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god, but the worst thing is is that I have I've like I've had so many people telling me if I if I would wax and stuff. It happens. They want to see this ripped off, trust me. Cool. Cool beans. People who say cool beans make them want to shove a fork up their ass. Shut up. Go back. <laughs> Let's go scoop them cool beans! <laughs> oh my god, I just realized. You're a millennial, aren't you? I'm a millennial. Yeah, 2000. Oh yeah. You're, oh, you're one of those people. Oh. Yeah. I'm, I'm very small. I'm small. S M O L. Small. That's actually pretty funny considering that we actually got three different decades here. We got mm -hmm. an 80s guy, we got a 90s guy, and then we got a millennial girl. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, Easy. <laughs> it's your baby. It's your pride and joy. It's my baby. Oh, you're a good little baby. Yes, you are. Oh, God. <laughs> Should this be turning me on? No. Don't. Okay. <laughs> Ani chan. Shit, I don't know if I'm to answer what? Ani, do I look better with or without the glasses? I go with with, actually. Okay. That's oh, what my first day. No, my second ex used to say. Congrats on 35,000 subscribers! Oh my god, I was so happy! Yay! <laughs> honestly, I made a vow- I honestly, like for New Year- Honestly, during New Year's, I wanted to vow, like, to try to get up to, um, 50,000 by the end of the year, but it ain't gonna happen, but I guess- Nope. This <laughs> no, next step is 40,000, and then 45, and 50, and- just go by fives. With the pace I'm going, I think it'll be for sure next year. I'll get up to 50,000. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Matt, my mama right. went on a business trip to Quebec recently. Oh, really? oh. Yeah. <laughs> She hated it. Really? Which? Well, it depends. Which part she of Quebec? French Canadians. Oh, really? Don't tell oh, her yeah. I said that. If you ever end up talking to her somehow, I don't know how, don't tell her I said that, okay? But she does. No, they, no, she they can't can stop. 
Oh, I know. She could be. They, they can be pricks. Trust me. She can't stand them. I'm, I'm actually not even considered French Canadian because my first language is English. So the fun. So the thing is, is that I. Um, so yeah, like I'm kind of considered as a minority in Quebec. Mm -hmm. No, but like French. Trust me. Sometimes French Canadians can be real pricks. Mm -hmm. So I can. Yeah, it kind of goes against the whole Canadian. Yeah. Stereotypes that they're oh, yeah. sweethearts. We're really different. We're really different from the rest of Canada. They'll stick in French. You had to come I to love, Canada. Oh my God, I love hearing you speak French. I don't know why, but it's just the cutest thing. <laughs> I, I don't know, like French can like French Canadian is pretty much like imagine French from France, except it's like the hillbilly version. <laughs> That's a good analogy. <laughs> That's a good name. That's actually the regular accent you would hear. That's not an exaggeration. Oh, wow. Voice. That's, that's, wow, that's unique. No, it, it's not like you're going to come, come in and hear, Ah, oh, bonjour, madame, bienvenue au beau Canada. Voulez-vous aller au Montréal? <laughs> Hello, welcome to Cinema Lounge, where we sit back, relax, and just talk, warm up, warm up our voices, get all ready for the podcast, of course, for this minisode. Uh, since this is October 30th, uh, tomorrow's going to be Halloween, we're just going to talk about uh, some somewhat scary movies that your kids, if you're a parent watching this, or if you're a kid watching this, you can watch at home during Halloween for, with your families, because uh, some of you out there who are watching this might be that age. You might not be going into horror because it's too damn creepy. So spooky. it's too spooky and scary. You don't want to be scared, scared. <laughs> so, so we're, we're gonna talk run, about <laughs> we're gonna talk about some movies that we recommend you guys watching for Halloween. Uh, that are not so scary, but scary enough to scare you, I guess. I mean, what qualifies as a scary kids movie? Well, like, number one, they have to be like rated, like, like less than PG, or like no, it's like PG or less. Yeah. No, or they have to like be really, PG. Some like really scary like Disney moments. You could think that because like those are scary, but not like horrific, you know? Right. Yeah. Like some people, like I, I love when people just overreacted. Like, oh my god, it was the worst part of my childhood. It was so scary. It was like, really. You think this is like that scary? It's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, when you think think about that, when people you know look back, it's like, oh my god, it scared me as a kid. But look at it now, it's not that scary anymore. You know. No. Well, it depends. Some people love doing it. I mean, that's how I manage to make my most successful video. <laughs> exactly. I mean, people love to get scared mostly on you know on Halloween or even watching horror movies in general. So, I figured you know there's there's some Disney ones you can watch too. There's like uh, the Nightmare Nightmare Before Christmas. There's uh, Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. I mean, those are just like the classics you can definitely make. like the go-to Halloween movie. Definitely Hocus Pocus. Yeah. Say like, are you sure Hocus Pocus is like totally a kids movie? Because like, I had this joke. I was like, what if he lights the candle and like it d nothing happens? <laughs> then it wouldn't be so much of a kids movie. No, actually, no. Lights up. No, you know what would happen? He just lights up the candle, waits, waits about a minute, and then you see, I put a spell on you. Credits. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Actually, interestingly enough, I just realized something. Um, hold on. Let me just uh, go find it. You can continue on. Um, yeah, cause. It's really hard to think about it because it's usually kids movies. It's like under G or PG rated because PG thirteen. If you're like at that age of thirteen and teenager, you could probably check out PG thirteen ones. But it's like you can't go to horror exactly because there's so many horror films out there as it is. But when it comes to scary movies as kids, you know you can go check out like stuff like Frank and Weenie, for example. <laughs> um, God, I'm trying to think of top but those of my... are kind of like, like I try to think like, like not like sort of you know like not 
Like, they, it follows the whole Halloween thing. I, I haven't seen that movie, so I wouldn't right. know. But, like, right. it follows the Halloween theme, but it's not necessarily scary. Right. It's, like, meant to scare you. It's not meant it's to... Kind of like that. That's what I was trying, trying to think of, like, stuff you can watch on Halloween, but not... I mean, there's... There's probably films that I have not seen that have scares in it. I have no idea. I'm just... I actually, um, I actually recall that Rotoscopers, they have actually done a list of the top 10 scariest animated films recently. It may not be, like, the most legit, but it is a good recommendation oh. to do like this. Okay. So let me just get, get through them quick. So number 10, we have The Black Cauldron. Okay. Number 9 Ew. is Monster House. Oh, Monster House. That's okay. Number 8 <laughs> is Corpse Bride. Okay. <gasps> number 7, we got Pinocchio. Okay, that's... I'm a... not surprised. Okay. Yeah, number six is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay. Number five, we got Paranorman. Number four, we got Frank... That. Number four, we got uh, Frank and Weenie. That's what I said. Okay. Number three, and... Like, I don't know how to feel, but... We got Spirited Away. What? Nominal masterpiece. Scary? I don't know. Number two, it's... The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. That's because of that one small scene. And number one, of course, this little gem. Coraline. Oh, Coraline. Oh, I guess oh. that. That's a good example so of, like, for kids, but, but it's also so scary. Oh my mm -hmm. god, I'm such a... Ugh. It's, it's no, most... but I think, like, Coraline is definitely one of those go-to, um, like, family movies that definitely has a lot of scary moments. Especially, like, sure. when... It, it's the moment when Coraline realizes that something is not right with the other world. When she got that little gift and is with the two buttons, that's when things suddenly go dark. That like, was <laughs> after. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it only goes, like... And the creepy factor just goes uphill from there. Oh, yeah. It's like a... Like a dark family movie. It sort of, like, goes off against each other. Like, I don't know what the word is. I forget, but... A dark family movie that's kind of hard to find yeah mm -hmm. it's funny i just was looking for another list to go through on just to refresh my memory and how the hollywood reporter oddly enough has 18 kid-friendly scary films for halloween and i was just looking at it let's see you got <laughs> rack and <arachnophobia. laughs> freaking giant spiders oh ew oh beetlejuice spiders. beetlejuice yeah. oh is that for kids? I, you can show it to your kids, I guess. Uh, Not bad. I mean, we watched Ferris Bueller's Day Off yesterday. I don't know how kid friendly that is. Uh, well, it's, there was that, a, it's a lot in of high one, school. There was at one point in my high school we wanted to watch uh, Super Bad, but then like halfway, I think like about twenty minutes in, we just stopped. <laughs> it must have been so awkward. It was like, I think it was the moment of the drawing of dicks. Yep. Oh my god. Let's see, Coraline's on here, The Corpse Bry, Frankenweenie, Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters. Yes, Ghostbusters is a great film to watch on Halloween. We'll have to judge next year if the reboot can also count. I've, uh, I read an article and I haven't read the per se, but I think Dan Aykroyd said it's way better than the original, apparently. What? Damn. Bold. Gremlins. Yes. Gremlins is considered, even though it's set during Christmas. That one, I, even that one, I kind of question. Is that really for kids? It's like kids no. watch. It's kid no. friendly. No. Yep. <laughs> Hocus Pocus is on here. Yes. Hotel, Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> okay, time out. Now, I'm not going to question the context itself. I'm only going to say. How is that scary? There's nothing about Kid it that is scary other than the fact that it's an Adam Sandler and Sony Pictures animation film. Other than that, there's no scariness in there. Calm down. Calm down. Calm Kid, down. Kid friendly <laughs> scary <laughs> films, my dear. How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> oh, here's a little obscurity. Uh, little monsters. Hmm? Little monster? Oh, uh... Fred Savage. Hi, Mandel. Okay. Yeah. Monster House. Monster House. Monsters, Inc. Well, uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, yes. Paranorman. That's, 
I that would Rude be in the same is. category. Yeah. That that's like in the same category as Hotel Transylvania. It's like it's not that it's not scary at all. It's a I mean, balance. yes, there are, are you... there are like Halloween elements, but it doesn't make it scary. It's a just because it's about scary doesn't mean it is scary. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the Adams Family. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think Morgan Speak... wanted me to watch that. Speaking of the devil, the haunted mansion, the haunted mansion. <laughs> really? We, we might bring that up in the book. Any Murphy movie? <laughs> Oh no! Oh dear God! Oh my God! Uh, Monster Squad, I yes. The night, but then there's like the holiday version where like the Nightmare Before Christmas takes over. So it's like, where do you go with that? Yeah, true. I don't really like Monster Squad. It's like it's such a Goonies wannabe. That's where that's the one with Wolfman starting. Yeah, right? that's yeah. the one. Yep, that's the one, Matt. Uh, I think I guess you're. Yeah, that does make sense. It is. Oh my God, the witches. The witch. Oh <laughs> yes, roll doll. Oh God. Yep, roll doll. Yep. I don't know if I could say that. The witches look mortifying in there. That's that was the eighteen they chose. I was like, what? Silly people at Hollywood Reporter. You don't know shit. Uh, that's what I was saying. Like this is. Hollywood is great to do the news. Not really making lists. Yeah, exactly. Oh. It's good to... Uh, there was another one. Uh, what was that? <laughs> scary for kids at camp. 20 best <gasps> oh, scary... I'm just about to read from that one! Okay, go ahead. I was going to say, I'll let you. I'm do it. Uh, okay, these are very... Oh, what? What? No, oh, wow. no, 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 no. Really? Okay. Listen. It doesn't even have descriptions for each one, but it's just a list, so... Mm. One is house. Two is something wicked this way comes. Yes! Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Something wicked this way comes. Uh, three is a lady in white. Whatever that is. Four is Stephen King's It. That's not for kids, is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you have Prince Albert and a can? You do! You better let him out! <laughs> it's so. Yeah. I don't get the reference, Matt. So that looked really weird. <laughs> that was in the movie. That wasn't it. That I wasn't... know, but <laughs> maybe it's with the squeaky chair. It just sounds like I'm getting laid, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, wait! Can you do that again? <laughs> oh, <geez>. all right. <laughs> My attraction towards you just went down like. Well, that's your fault because you asked for it. <laughs> God damn it. Five is the Lost Boys. Uh, six, Witcher, Watcher in the Woods. <sighs> Seven, The Monster Squad. Eight, The Frighteners. Uh, eight, nine is Beetlejuice. They actually put Goosebumps at number ten, and they just came out like this month. Yeah, and it doesn't seem to be doing well at the box office, by the way. I heard, like, the movie's good, not great, but good, but yeah. Yeah, it's like... No, 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 they didn't mean the movie, they meant... What the heck? Yeah, they're t referring to the movie, they have a picture no, of No, no, the... no, they're not referring to the new one, click the link. Are they referring to the show? Oh, there's a yeah. link, there's a link for each one, god damn it. Yes. Now you <laughs> fucking tell me. Oh, okay. Well, sorry. Uh, okay, okay. See, I didn't know. I thought it was just a generic list. Yeah, I can click on it. I didn't know that. Uh, I was like, I'm having like the biggest nostalgia trip just looking at this website. Like, oh my god, I used to live and breathe this website when I was a kid. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have this. It's list called Scary for Kids. It, like I used to go here all the time when I was younger because I love scary stuff. Eleven is Gremlins. Twelve is Critters. Really. <laughs> Thirteen is Tremors, fourteen is Sleepy Hollow. Uh, Whoa, no! Yeah, that's, yeah, that's Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> Don't put it in freaking Sleepy Hollow. Fifteen Don't is Coraline. Sixteen is Spiderwick Chronicles. Seventeen is Nightmare Before Christmas. Eighteen is Corpse Bride. Oh, that was the <laughs> nineteen is Tower of Terror. 
Yes! I've never seen that. That's a guilty, that's a guilty pleasure. Of mine. I went on the ride and I loved it, but. The TV movie, oh my god. It's, 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 it's like stupid and corny, but like it's a Halloween tradition for for next to uh, Hocus Pocus. It's like, hey, I'm told this joke already, but they were like, hey, what do you want to be for Halloween? A drunk girl sitting on her couch watching Hocus Pocus. So 20, yes. 20 is Under Wraps, which is a Disney original, uh, Disney, Disney Channel, Channel original movie you. about a young, about a group of young people who encounter a reanimated Egyptian mummy. It's weird. That's like the only other. <laughs> I'm Jason too. <laughs> Just looking at that picture, and I'm like, I really wish they picked another one because that's creep me out. <laughs> stupid mummy. I don't like it. The creepy. Well, that's kind Scar of the point. scaring the bunny. No, but bad creepy. Ah, uh, bad creepy. Not fun creepy. Yeah, so there's plenty. There's plenty of uh, somewhat. Scary related Halloween flicks you can watch with your family or kids, you know. So it, scary. Most yeah, of it's definitely. most of it's animated. No, I was, just, I was just doing that tone just for... Because Matt Brene here has 35,000 <laughs> subscribers on YouTube. That's why I have that ringtone set. We're celebrating. Yay. Congratulatory kids. Hopefully for more in the future. All right. Maybe. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, yes, I think an hour and 30 minutes or oh, 15. Did you stop recording now? Yeah. Okay, uh, I need to go to the bathroom. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay, thank you. Funny thing is, I don't stop recording. You don't? No, I just do it in one big file and I just cut it into two parts. That would wreak havoc on your computer, wouldn't it? Not really. It would have mine. I don't know. I've I've been doing this editing for a long time, and it's just uh. Yeah, I'm just, just looking at everything Matt has in his room. Yeah, <laughs> it's like an Easter egg kind of hunt. It's like you know that one GIF of SpongeBob where he and Patrick were like with the map, and their eyes just went. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 that episode. <laughs> That's me right now. <laughs> I have to find that GIF and send it to him when he gets back. <laughs> yeah. Because... <laughs> Shh, I think I heard him. <laughs> okay, what did I miss? Nothing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like looking at all the stuff in your room, and I was just like this. Really? <laughs> yeah. For snooping around to see what I have. Yeah. Oh, if people ask it, it's like, let's do a room tour. Let's see your room, Matt. It's like, no. oh my god. No, you have no idea. Some people even ask for, like, a live tour. Some like, they, they want to legit come to my house and, like, have a real tour. <laughs> okay, that that's really weird. Okay. Come to my house and explore <sighs> my house. <laughs> it's like, Matt, can I come into your house and give us a tour to your place? No. no. Yeah, that's, that's like, like... Hey, I'll put that on Patreon, $10,000 a month. <laughs> Come to the Museum of Animat. They're out gonna start late now. <laughs> and to your left, you see my recording room. I see I make videos there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I do things there. That's it. 
Okay, bye. Ow! What the hell? Oh. Who has a cat? Oh my god. What are you GQ reading? Magazine. What the? Why? I, I get a, a description of it. Why? Because GQ is Gentleman's Quarterly and they give you fashion. You're not a gentleman, huh? Mike. Fashion? You're not so, a gentleman. Did you call me a gentleman? Matt is. Aww. Yeah. God, I don't need a towel. I'll be right back. God, Matt, this is what you do to me. The headset. <laughs> what if I do? What do you do? Eh? Wait for it. You get messy? What? What, is I'll it be because right of me you get messy? I don't know. I'll be right No, it's- I, I spilled water on myself. I'll be right back. Oh. What did I do to make her messy? Did you just kill yep. Taylor Swift? <laughs> Dude. Shut up. Do you actually... Mia, I think you just missed that. Oh, no. Mike just kissed Taylor Swift on that GQ magazine. You are pathetic. I am pathetic. Shut up. I'm gonna mail That's... you one of those body pillows, those anime oh, thank things. Thank you. No, thank you. No, I won't. <laughs> oh god. Don't want one of those. Yeah, I don't want to open my mail and be like, uh, okay. Now right, you better watch out. The next one's in the box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be funny if somebody sent sent him that? <laughs> then we got this big box. What's in this big box? Hmm. Let's open yeah, it up. Yeah. Your new wife. Let's open it up. And here's a letter. Dear Matt, here's your wife, Foo. Enjoy. Wife, 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 Foo for life. I'm so nervous. Oh my god. So quiet. Wifey? I don't know how to explain it, honestly. That's one of the things I fear, because I know that there are people who send me, like, you know, like, bad movies and stuff, but, like, if they send me, those, like, things like dildos, or, like, freaking <laughs> fleshlights, or a body pillow, it's like, what do I do? Oh my god, if somebody sent you a <laughs> They want the anime for yep, it to Oh shoot, where's my- ah, here it is. Here's my agenda. Give me my pen. Okay, 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 okay. here we go. Ma, you sleepy. Aw, you sleepy. Aw. Oh. I was earlier, then I spilled water on myself. You're wide awake now. Okay, yeah. episode. That's because you're a clumsy bunny. I'm a bunny. And here we have this motherfucker. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> and then there's this dickhole. And then there's this bitch. <laughs> she came in one day, and now she's here. I swear. I wasn't gonna start the temple. It, it, it just reminds me of the, uh... Of that, me like the the metaphor in uh, Team America: World Police, you got your dicks, you got your pussies, and you got your assholes. It's the best. It's the best thing that came out. So of the after three of us, who's the there's the dick, the pussy, and the asshole. <laughs> I think it's all be dick. Oh. Um. Oh my. What? What? You sure? I reserved Wait, a spot. Is, is yours really the biggest? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Among all the other guys, you think you're the biggest? I don't know. I didn't. Do you honestly think I'd compare the rest? 
And then I go Skype to him, Hey James, how big is the penis? That's <laughs> done! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, just be on Skype one day just comparing dicks. <laughs> god. Oh my god, it's like that D club in the yes. game drums. Yes. <laughs> and, uh. They're kind of like half chub, and then they would helicopter their dicks. Like, you know what happens at a girl sleepover? Is this what happens at a guy sleepover? No. <laughs> okay. That's just Aaron Hansen being Aaron Hansen. Oh, game drums. Glorious, glorious. Oh, yes. And, uh, by the way, Matt, I'm still recording. <laughs> I haven't stopped. <laughs> what? <laughs> still recording. Now what? <laughs> Might take this footage and uh, make a nice little package out of it. We'll use it to blackmail you. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of things that. Oh, I can. I've, I've 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 discovered a lot of things on his Facebook. Okay. You know? Oh yeah. I've one of these days. I'd really love context for a lot of those photos. Those old Matt. photos. Like, I was going down, I see the one with the bowling balls, and I'm like, yeah, I'm in too deep, and I turn my phone off. Oh. <laughs> that was just a hangout. No, I was like, I'm in way too deep, and I turn my phone off. It's just, I'm done. <laughs> no more Facebook stopping that. I'm done. <laughs> what, you get to know me too much, or I don't know? No, I just... <laughs> oh, man. That's when you realize, I shouldn't be doing no, this. No, I shouldn't be doing this, especially if you see an old picture of your friend dressing up for Halloween and it's a horrible costume. Oh yeah, that. Which one? You dressing up as Chewbacca. Shut up! <laughs> I know what yeah. you're referring yeah. to. You'd make a great you make a Chewbacca. Great Chewbacca. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you did the voice it of everything. Just... There was a one... There was at one point I was in a cruise and my nickname was Chewy. <laughs> oh, just I just looked at that picture and I was like, that's not Chewbacca, it's just a hairy gorilla. <laughs> I swear that mask was You don't need a costume to be like that. <laughs> I can. I bet you can. He's a sexy girl is what he is. I heard that. You did. <laughs> it's just in there. <laughs> I was gonna say, off. if I just left with you two alone, she would freak out. Yeah. Part of me fears that. <laughs> I don't know what she would do. Yeah, Dairy Simulator. That's all I'm saying. Dairy, <laughs> help me. <coughs> cough. <coughs> cough. Something stuck in my throat. <laughs> Two, one. Hello, welcome to Cinema Royale. I'm Mike Mixtape, your host, and this is a glorious, glorious episode of yet, of Cinema Royale, talking about movies. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Cinema... <laughs> I can just imagine you can screw up. Hello, and welcome to Cinema Royale, where we toss salads. <laughs> is it weird I want to consider that as a tagline? <laughs> I think it's like a little cooking show. Oh, that's what you Yes, we like to toast our salads. Toast our salads. Who <laughs> like toast our salads? <laughs> Squeaky chair. Squeaky chair, goddammit. Okay, I gotta, gotta sit still. 
I'm just gonna do it without the countdown because I'm just gonna burst out and concentrate long enough. Om shaka laka laka boom boom. I can do the intro for you. <laughs> I need something to hold on to. Matt, come here. Yes! Hey, Red, you need to be 